it's Kimberly with StandbyTheSea.com and today I want to talk to you a little bit about exporting an SVG file from my digital studio and then into your eCutter and then where to go from there. So in my digital studio, one of the great things that uh, changed with the with the upgrade um, is we can export SVG files. Now not every stamp brush that you have in my Jill Studio is an SVG. So you need to be careful and you'll figure it out real quickly when it doesn't export. And, and I, let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. So for instance, for this, I'm actually um, going to export a hexagon punch. And so I just went to my punches, dragged it onto um, a blank uh, piece. And then now I'm going to export it into onto my desktop. And to do that, I'm just gonna go up here to project, I'm going to hit share and I'm going to hit export SVG and then it's going to ask you you know where you want it to go and these are all the ones I've done and I figured out some how they work and some if they don't work and uh, I'll show you just a sec here let's hit clear hit this one hit OK it's going to ask me where I want it one on my desktop and I'm going to hit finish it's pretty much done after that so what I'm going to do is go over to my e-cutter. Now for my e-cutter I'm particularly using, I'm using the Cameo. You need to do your research because there are lots of e-cutters that are on the market. But the biggest thing you need to look for is does it, uh, can it import regular uh, SVGs off the internet or from a program into your e-cutter. So you don't want to buy something that is not going to be able to um, have that function. So for this, um, from here, I'm going to go into File, and I'm going to go to Import to my library. Now I'm running a Mac, so it could be different for a PC. I'm not real sure. Um, I'm going to click on my hexagon and hit OK. And then it's going to ask for a file name, and I'll just go ahead and call it hexagon. And then you can keyword it, you can describe it, and you can also put the artist. Now, I've already done this, so I'm not going to go from here. I'm just going to hit cancel. But once you do that, it's in your library. Now, I went ahead and made a folder in my library called My Own Designs. And then these are all my um, SVG files from my digital studio that I've imported so far. And... Once you have your uh, SVG imported, you're just going to double click on it, and now it's on your uh, mat. So from here, now it gets fun. So I'm going to click on this and just move it up to here. I can size it really big if I want, or make it smaller. And I'm going to go all the way up here to this little blue dot up here. It says open the trace window and you can see the hexagon is selected. I'm going to hit OK and I'm going to hit select trace area. I'm just going to bring my little cursor and select my trace area. I'm actually, what I've been doing, and again I'm not an expert on this, I am totally new at this, but I'll tell you I'm just having fun. So you can follow this along and, and learn a lot more. I'm just showing you the quick and easy way to get an SVG cut through any cutter. I hit the trace outer edge and then come up here to cut and uh, once my uh, e-cutter is connected I just hit the word cut make sure that I have my settings correct and wham bam it's done. It's that simple. Now obviously there are tons of things that you can do you know, with your e-cutter, but for the basics of what I wanted, this is it. So very simple, export, import, hit the trace, hit the cut, and voila. I hope this helps you, and I will see you soon. You can visit my website at stampinbythesea.com.